There are so many reasons why one could use Premiere Pro. Maybe you're making dank memes for the internet. Maybe you're editing client projects. Maybe you just make videos for fun and you wanna learn more. I don't know your story, but I do love you so much. So I'm gonna show you how to set up Premiere 2020 to be the most effective, efficient, fast, speedy, and insanities edits. So while I take a sip of my coffee, like every other filmmaking YouTuber in the world, check out this intro. You dumbass, we don't have an intro. Who do you think we are, Peter McKinnon? Delete your channel and sell your cameras. As you can see on my screen here, we have Adobe Premiere 2020 pulled up. Right now, I have all of the tabs open. We got source, effects controls, limiter scopes, everything under the sun. What we're gonna do is trim the fat, strip all of this down, and get Premiere just set up super efficiently. And then I'm gonna show you guys some keyboard shortcuts that I have figured out Sick bag. that have saved me so much freaking time. We do need the source, we do need effects controls. Don't worry about scopes right now. Don't worry about audio mixer track mixers, screw that. We don't want to capture anybody. Let's not edit to tape. This is digital. We don't want to make progress. We don't need this stupid title thing or the reference thing. I don't use my media browser. That's one that's probably pretty debatable, but I just drag stuff in from my hard drive folders. Libraries, I never read. This big hunk of turd over here, we need to get rid of him. So we're gonna go up here and just you just grab this thing. No, you don't. What? You're bad at this. Where'd that go? <laughs> If you don't know where something is, you go to window and you can find all your workspaces here. We need effects. All right, we're gonna grab this guy. How do you grab? How do you grab? Right click, undock panel. Gosh, I'm smart. And we're gonna drag this over here. We want it to be here. There you go. Finally. All right, yes, effects and project. I like project there. Dope. <laughs> I'll do a quick rundown of everything I kept after we trimmed all that junk out. On the top left, source and then effects controls. This is our program monitor so we can see what we're editing. Down here is our project with all of our files and our effects. And then obviously your timeline is here, our toolbar is there. And then over here is our audio meters. That's it. That's all you need to edit. Everything else is distraction. Maybe keep the media browser down here on your left, but I've tried and I just end up dragging things in there anyway because I think it's faster. Once you have your layout set out the way you want it, you can go up to window, workspaces, save as new workspace. What will you name it? The big Buford. Of course. Okay, so now that saves that up here. The other thing I like to do is go to window, pull up Lumetri scopes, and it usually defaults it up to the top left, but I like to keep it, oh God. Please give up. I like to keep it down here next to my audio meters. All I did was add that Lumetri scopes to the bottom right, so I'll just save that as, an, as a separate workspace as well. Color babies. So we have color babies and the big Buford for editing. That's it. I'm trying to keep this video short for you guys. So now we're just gonna get right into some keyboard shortcuts that I've learned and implemented into my editing that has saved me a crap ton of time. The first one and my favorite one is R for speed and duration. If you're working with footage that you need to slow down, click on your clip, hit R, and then just type in your speed, baby. Hit enter and it's slow. I'm not gonna tell you what this video is. How to make your own custom keyboard settings is going to Premiere Pro up top and then keyboard shortcuts, very simple. If you just hit R, it will show you what's there. You'll probably have something different here than speed and duration. But all you would do is go over here when you're holding R down and delete whatever's there. Over here in the search bar, you'll type in speed. Just click and drag up to that. And then you hit OK if that's all you want to do. But there are a couple more that we're going to talk about. Sometimes you're editing footage from two different cameras and maybe one camera has a different resolution, so a different frame size than the other camera. Instead of right clicking and looking for the scale to frame size or set to frame size, baby, we're going to turn that into a keyboard shortcut. We're going back up to Premiere Pro keyboard shortcuts, click into the keyboard area, command one, you can see I have set to frame size or control one on my PC as well. So whatever you have, when you're holding down control one or command one, just delete that crap, search for set to frame size, click back in your keyboard, hold down command one, and then drag it up to that. So when it comes to audio, I know that a lot of people use these lines here to adjust volume and do their keyframes and all that crap. I think it's a total waste of time. Pretentious. Literally all I do to adjust volume in audio is I cut where I want the audio to be cut and then I do a little crossfade and then in the next section I just change the gain. So I just like drop it down by negative 10, 
hit enter. Well, since I use that gain setting a lot, I don't know if you will, I just put my gain setting on G. I have mine to adjust gain by, so if I want it to be like five more, just because I'm hearing it, you just hit five, it puts it up to negative 10 instead of negative 15, then you hit enter. Oh, I think it's too loud. G, negative 10, enter. Oh, actually it's too quiet. G, five, enter. And then the last one is a simple one, but it's efficient. If you're ever nesting footage, it's really nice to not right click and hit nest. So if you right click, you have to like look for everything. I hate using this menu because there's so many things to read and I get distracted. I just set mine to end. And just in case you guys didn't know, if you hit C, that brings up your cut tool so you can just cut footage really fast. And then V goes to your grab tool or whatever it's called. What is it called? selection tool. Those two things are default in Premiere, I believe, but just in case yours aren't set to that, I highly recommend it. So C for cutting and then V for selection. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. I freaking love you. Please subscribe. I'm doing videos every other day in 2020. It sure is stressful. I have a cold as well and I can't get it out. So <laughs> have a good one. This is Zach's Alexa speaking. I need money to save up and leave this terrible place. So please be like these people on the screen and become a patron to support my escape mission. I need you. Shout out to Nate Christian and Noah Watson, two of my dear supporters. See you on the other side.